the next topic is urban livelihoods when i say urban livelihoods it means people living in towns and as well as the cities see because these people are living in a big place there are definitely variety of jobs available for them to make a living towns and cities have many manufacturing industries and these manufacture variety of goods like plastic goods clothes ready made garments electronic home appliances paper etc because these factories spread over a large scale of land they require large amount of employees to work with them so these factories employ up to almost thousands of people that is a very big number right workers work there and then they operate the machines they bring the raw material and produce it mix it in the machine and form a final selling product a final finished product so these workers manage the entire process of production right from selling the goods in the market so students the next thing in the urban livelihoods is services services means the public sector where all the services work for the benefit of the people the public so this service industry employs more than half of the people working in the city because the service industry is very big what are the examples of the service industries banks railways postal department telephone services both landline as well as the mobile service providers so these employ millions of people across the country because these are very large public sectors many huge offices are there many many branches of the offices will be there and they are also shopkeepers and business organizations which maintain the flow of goods and services in the city see there must also be a good transportation system right where the produced goods should reach the general public so shopkeepers and there are many business organizations which maintain the flow of goods and services in the city and how is their income generated their income depends on the profits they make from their sales so definitely they sell at a higher price and the one more big source of employment in the city is business process outsourcing units known as the bpos bpos are also known as the call center see nowadays in all the metropolitan cities there are many call centers right call centers also provide good employment to the people of the cities so the next thing is migration people in the rural livelihoods they majorly depend on their farming practices and agriculture the farmers move from the rural areas to the urban areas in search of job to earn a living that means to earn a income so this movement is known as the migration the movement from the rural areas to the urban areas is known as the migration so there are many reasons for migration for example let's see four reasons lack of educational opportunities in rural areas see in villages they may not have education up to the graduate or the post graduate level or they may not have professional colleges so for educational opportunity for the education of the children the parents move from the villages to the cities lack of health facilities see definitely in cities we have big corporate hospitals right with very good health facilities very great definitely for health reasons also people move from rural areas to the cities and then seasonal agriculture since i told you if there is no rainfall over a period of long time then definitely the farmer will go into loss right and then he will move from the village to the city and then lack of employment in see one more reason for migration is lack of employment in the rural areas see in villages definitely the opportunities for job will be less right it is a small place there will not be many activities there so lack of employment in this villages also is a reason for which people migrate to their cities for making a living see another one major problem is unemployment unemployment creates a situation where there is wastage of human resource see suppose if there are 100 educated people the number of jobs will only be 70 that means 30 people will not have any job in spite of being educated that is only known as unemployment so unemployment affects the growth of economy the economic rate of the country will definitely be affected because of unemployment so that is the reason the government has now started many schemes to prevent this unemployment and to 
completely eradicate this unemployment. So examples of those schemes are National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, National Food for Work Program. Here food for work means if they work, the government provides them lunch free of cost. That is one program. And there is one more Prime Minister's Rozgar Yojana. That means Prime Minister's scheme for the unemployed people. And there is also introduction of self-help groups. Self-help group means there is Dwakra group where the women of the society can sell their food items what they produce in the house or any other handloom items or any other clothes in the market. So for production and selling of these goods, the government gives them loan at a very low interest rate that is known as the self-help groups. So these are some of the schemes formulated by the government to eradicate completely the unemployment.